Yeah, hello and welcome to this day's broadcast today. Thank you so much for joining on by this morning. It is a beautiful morning. Um, just like, I don't know, it's, it's just been crazy how many beautiful mornings there have been this month. Um, just stuff like sunshine and rays and, and birds singing in the trees and it's just, uh, you know, wonderful to stop and embrace every now and then and uh, maybe even take a walk out there sometime. All right, we are jumping into things today. We are rocking out. We just stopped with um, Statman's uh, Level 15 last night. So if you want to check that out, um, check out last night's video. Um, uh, search around for it. I, I, I still don't know how to do <laughs> a lot of the functions. But uh, we are rocking out an Artanis here who has still yet to become level 15. Um, and he is working on his last prestige. Uh, and I could, I haven't been like actually following him around on his other prestiges. The, I think the only one that I've been honoring is the Valorous Inspir ins Inspirator. <laughs> Inspirator. Um, now we know how to say English words here. Uh, and I completely nixed the Nexus. Uh, well, I don't know, like it. I don't know. Um, and it looks like there was a. It used to be ten power energy, but now it costs twenty five. Uh, and I, but I did see somebody use the Arc Ship Commandant the other day, and I was like, wow. That is pretty cool. So I'm going to try to uh, do that today on normal mode. Try to level him up all the way um, for the rest of his path. And uh, what I think... I've never played this prestige before, but I've played this um, hero a, a number of times. But uh, I have seen a lot of people... Um, rely on tempests a lot more. I tend to go on ground units with uh, dragoons. Um, but what I think I'm going to do for this is I'm going to um, have kind of I think a mixture of dragoons and tempests. Start out with the dragoons and then transition, and we'll say hi, hi, hi to our friend and ally. All right. It's been a while since I've been Artanis. Let's see if I remember how to do anything. We got Pylon out here. Probably made that a little too close to the ramp, but that'll be fine. I do want to, let's see here. We'll wait for that pylon. I, I want to get vision over here so that I can get the, um, the zone over yonder. Yeah, I built it a little too close, I think. That's fine. I built the pylon too close to the ramp, so I couldn't really wall off. But I wonder where we are playing in hard mode. So this will be kind of interesting. Let's uh, open up to... What are they called? Simulators? And we'll get a working pylon down here. Great. That fixes that. Um, we've got a couple of assimilators that we can put probes in. I'm putting in two and two as opposed to filling up all th uh, three slots in each. <coughs> Only because uh, I want to maximize on minerals as well. All right, we do have our gateway up, which means I'm going to put down my cybernetics core. And uh, actually, we'll make a zealot over here. Cool. You can start smashing rocks.
I'm going to have my first orbital strike in just a sec. And I'll use that on the rock formation. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go for it. Boom. Pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. I'm not going to lie. All right, we do have our cybernetics core, which means I'm going to get a starport as well as a twilight council. Nice. And let's get a forge too. Let's fill up on Vespine. And that should be saturation relatively right there. Oh, I've been making these buildings in uh, places where I don't have any pylons. <laughs> How about I remedy that? It looks like we have warp for our starter gate, which is great. Stargate, starport, whatever it's called. And actually, we do have our space for our extractors down here. Oh, we so not able to kill all the rocks yet. It doesn't look like I was. Too bad. All right. Let's, uh, let's get out of Dragoon. That should be covering up all the bases that we need there. Oh, what am I doing? I'm making regeneration rate doubled. Cool. And let's make another Dragoon. Cool. Let's start making some probes. And, uh, get a pylon up. Oh, wow. A Terran enemy. Interesting. It looks like dragons and marines have, like, basically the same range. Uh, I do want to make a f fleet beacon. Dragons are taking it pretty heavy right there, but they're going to have increased shields, which is going to be great. Okay. Um, oh, shucks. I do want to attack this mineral field down here. Hmm. All right. Let's uh, start sending our probes on over. Get a couple of simulators. Cool. We retreat back to go forward because we want to clear out this section here. Actually, I might be fine without it. Oh, I don't have Tempest unlocked. <laughs> that might put a little bit of a damper on my Tempest availability <laughs> so we'll get um, mess up on dragoons and uh, reavers instead that was my mistake assuming that I have all my units unlocked how dare I let's get some more Vespine okay all ground units here we go let's go up here and charge up the middle At least our gateway is making um, the amount of units it needs to. Although I do need to make a couple more gateways here. Nice. Let's uh, make another pylon. Make a photon cannon up here just for kicks and giggles. Another dragoon, nice. We're, we're getting there, we're getting there. Oh boy. If 
I've got some marauders going on, jeez. All right. A couple of our dragoons went down. But not to worry, we have plenty more where that came from. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven probes. Make a couple of more pylons down here. Go on up. I do have orbital strikes to deal, dish out. So let's not forget that. Okay. What's this? Phoenix is gained two range, yeah. We're not really facing a whole lot of air units right now. What I do want to get, though, is uh, this guy. Cool. Oh, they don't have any ability to jump back like their stalkers do. Cool. Um, build a couple more. I have 16 total down here. Let's uh, get my robotics facility in with my hotkeys. Cool. Okay, okay. Not bad. Let's make a couple more pylons. Jeez, those marauders are pretty crazy. Nice, okay. Let's all go down here. Got a couple of charges. I do want to make a robotics facility. I think that's what it's called. Robotics Bay. Oh, how dare I? Um, let's get some more upgrades. Oh, huh. Shield over charges. It does have a little bit of a range to it, huh? Interesting. All right, um, let's have this follow him around, and he can follow this marauder. Cool. Do I have my building yet? No. Another 10 more seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Cool. This makes a complete troop here. Let's get them on in. Put some shields down. Call it a day. Having a little bit of trouble getting in past my troops. Cool. That should be, be a complete group here. I have, oh, we'll save these orbital strikes for later. It does cost about 50. Whew. Nice. Okay. Let's uh, make more pylons. One, two, three, four. Start making another group of uh, P 
peeps here. These pylons will come in in just a sec. Upgrades, let's get some. Cool. Yeah, pretty straight up, pretty straightforward. A lot easier to deal with than Stepman, that's for sure. <laughs> Actually, let's uh, get in a couple of those. Do our orbital commands, or our orbital strikes, rather. Get some healing up and call it good. Yeah, that's pretty much done deal right there. Cool. Don't think we need to do that. GG. Sub 20 minutes. Around 16 minutes. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, especially in hard mode, jeez. <laughs> but you can never be too wrong with uh, Rainers, Marines, and Medics. They're always going to be pretty solid. And we did manage to scrape by with uh, 7 plus 6 is 13 eliminations. Sweet. Yeah, when do I unlock my... Uh, in two levels from now, level 11. Level 11 seems to be a pretty popular level to kind of be more powerful at, you know. Arbiter is the same thing, level 11. I forget what power up it is, but he gets it. <laughs> I'm dealing with another Rainer here for Temple of the Past, holding out against Amon's forces for a duration of time. Yeah, I'm sad that I don't have access to my Tempests yet, especially for this map, because uh, then uh, I can't get that um, northeastern quadrant there. Okay. Let's hop, skip, and jump right on to it here. Uh, with a greeting. Hi, hi, hi. Good luck. Have fun there. Let's uh, make our first pylon down here. Okay. We are playing on hard mode again, which is just spectacular. <laughs> That uh, should be pretty, relatively easy here. Okay. First pylon is up, which means first gateway can go down. Along with a and a simulator. Nice. Another uh, probe, and then we'll make another pylon up yonder. As well as a, an assimilator. Put three in the assimilator for now to start off with, and then once we get our next assimilator, we'll have two, 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 and two, rather. Cool. Okay, I have enough for my first zealot. And I'll put another pylon up yonder. We almost have enough for our first orbital strike here. Let's 
good enough for another pylon too. Here we go. Oh, I wonder if I can directly attack the rocks with the orbital strike. I probably can. All right. Little Zella love to buy his own devices. Oh, you know what? I should be making our uh, cybernetics core. Jeez. So focus on those rocks. Okay, let's get our other. Ooh, hi. <laughs> Glad that my, my teammate has his Marines out. Okay. Let's start dishing out on his rocks, I guess. <laughs> um, let's see here. I do want to get another gateway um, up and running. Do you want to get a forge? Is that what I'm missing? Yeah. Put our forge up here. Okay. And let's get a twilight center console. Console. Build a pylon next to our base. We are dealing with Hydralisk, Brood Queen, and Ultralisk. Oh, they can keep working up here. Cool. Um, great. Let's get attack upgrades going. Oh, nice. I bet we can uh, help out with this. Nice. Let's get to our console and get regeneration as well as attack range. Go down here. Bird Queen, Hydralisk, Ultralisk, Lurkers as well. So I will need a robotics bay or robotics. What is this? <laughs> robotics facility. Oh, they shut down that pylon. Interesting. Make another one. Let's get a couple of assimilators out. As well as another pylon down here. Let's go on up here. Nice. Yeah, those medics are going to come in really handy with our bio team here. And uh, let's make a cannon or two. Let's make a pylon up here and here. One, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cool. Let's get some armor upgrades here. And we're charging. Okay, cool. Let's go. Get a few cannons up here. Nice. Cool. 
cool. Let's uh, get out our robotics, whatever it's called, bay. And uh, their worker production is pretty on par. Let's charge up to this uh, enemy here. Let's get on an observer. An early observer, which is which would be good. And uh, we'll make a gateway up here too. Not the best geographic placement in the whole entire world, but it'll be just fine. So you get to just keep on attacking, yeah. Oh, let's unleash some friendly from some forces here. Nice. Let's make our forge part of our hotkeys. Great. And they're coming on down here. Can afford a couple of reavers. Okay. Let's we'll start making our army army. <laughs> They're getting there, all right. Could put a couple of pylons down. Let's put more cannons here. Let's make a Stargate, and I can put that, um, I can put like some Phoenixes up here. Oh, I only have one of my gateways highlighted, there we go. Nice. Oh, I do have some lurkers out. can go around and, uh, let's see, I can make an observer, and this guy is going to follow his marauder around because his marauders are big and beefy. And, uh, what I could do after I put these pylons on down is make, like, static, um, units that just kind of remain here. Down here too. Oh boy. Not take the oh he did take the damage moderately well. Let's uh make though some photon cannons. Cool. I like this dragon's position over here in this little corner. All right. I like it so much, so I'll just put one over there. All right. Make another pylon there. I wonder why my ally hasn't really taken up his base yet. Okay, we do have a starport, am I correct? Yeah, Stargate, rather. Okay, they can go live up here. Cool. <laughs> that queen is being a little dork. Funny. on down. Cool. A 
couple of pylons down at a few select locations. And uh, put a dragon or two down. Let's get some more upgrades. Cool. You can go up here. I do have a Viking out. Interesting. All right. Let's get another Reaver for down here. Uh, let's attack this peep. I do want to make another reaver for my main army. There we go. Let's kind of shuffle on in here with our units. Cool. Oh, hybrid are coming on in, huh? Oh. Back, yep. Oh, we don't have vision. But we can make an observer up here. Cool. Get a few more phoenixes out. I guess. <laughs> Let's uh, warp in a couple more dragoons. And these guys can go down here again. Let's make another phoenix. Boom. A random peep not doing something. control. Yep, two reavers still alive. Nice. Get our upgrades rocking. Cool. Uh, let's make just a couple more pylons just to get that nice 200. Get our phoenixes up here. Put a few photon cannons here. Okay. Just in time for this enemy unit to come on in. Oh, interesting. Yeah, as soon as the, I didn't think of that, as soon as the units land, the phoenixes just get them with the, um, with their power up. We'll add these peeps to our, another army. These peeps are ready and ready to go, nice. Let's put another phoenix up here. Put our archons down and call it good. What are we under attack from? Huh. 
cool. Those phoenixes are just not doing as much damage as I'd like them to do. Oh, we can do more damage with some reavers. Awesome. Cool. Just add a few units to our second army. Yeah, this is pretty powerful, I'm not gonna lie. Just his troops alone are just like really strong. And that looks like that is the threshold of my, um, it's the threshold of my army there, 199 out of 200. Oh, and they've got a lurker in there. Cool. That's all done. Nice, he's clearing up shop down there. Let's get more upgrades. Cool. Yes, please attack my temporary units. Nice. He's got that all set. We did have a reaver go down, I think, up here. So we'll make another. It's kind of a tight squeeze in that space, huh? You know, it'd be a good remedy to that, is if I had Tempest. <laughs> yeah, they've been making some rounds there. Oh, why? Is he supposed to be following a group? I bet he was supposed to be following group too. Oh boy. Jeez. Oh, little Reaver. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was sweet. That was the final push. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. Lone little Reaver taking it up against an Ultralisk. GG, we'll play <laughs> second base needed. <laughs> nice. GG indeed. Cool. Let's see what our score screen says. Oh, we are almost to the next unlock. That's pretty, pretty good. And they did manage to scrape by with a few more eliminations than us. 24 to be exact. Sweet. 26, excuse me. <laughs> All right, nice. And that's going to be the last matchup of the day. Thank you so much for taking the time to drop on by and to uh, come chill, hang out, relax a little bit. 
Um, if you've made it to this far in the video, please consider giving me a thumbs up and uh, possibly subscribing as well for more videos and content just like this. And with that, I hope you have a swell rest of your day. Take care.